All right, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to DWTT, Gary, to my friends. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to do a little special segment called uh, uh, What I'm Thinking. And uh, as you can see, I am not in my my usual locale uh, here on the West Coast. Some say the best coast here. But I uh, will give you a couple thoughts that I have based on what I've seen so far in, in the Arsenal news. Uh, so basically, I guess I've seen that it uh, looks like Pepe's gone. It's about time. I think we've wasted his time and he's not been able to help us with it. You know get, get anything out of him that we could use consistently so it's good to see that he's moving on hopefully this works out for him and it works out for us in the long term um hopefully he gets we can get some money from him not as much as we've paid but some would be good and also he'll be happy hopefully playing football back in france also it looks like uh maitland niles might be going another player good talent just we can't get much out of him consistently so good to see him go as well if that works out so that'd be kind of cool for him. I haven't heard much about Bellerin, so I assume that's just gonna happen. We're just gonna give him away for free and then he'll be out um, as far as incomings. I think that's it for the outgoings, isn't it? I think so. Um, I think that's all we got going there. Maybe holding I saw maybe going out as if that's a rumor that's going on, room him for Telemans. We'll see if that happens, but I, I doubt it. So as far as incomings, there's been a lot of news. I know Pedro Neto's on the top of our list, but that just sounds like a sounds like a, a fairy tale. That one, it's a lot of money involved in a player, and also he's going to compete, which is going to be helpful for us. But does Arsenal want to spend all their money there? Um, you know, I'd rather have a second striker that we can get a similar response or a similar performance out of than you know, hey, with similar to Jesus. That'd be kind of cool, but we'll see. You know, Neto would be good. Tielemans would be good. Either one of those players coming in would be really great. I hope that uh, something happens. We need depth. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to be, be able to go through the Europa League uh, season with what we have right now. I kind of feel like if we're lucky, it'll work out. And I think I was listening to, I think it was Arsenal, Arsenal uh, Vision podcast, and they were talking. And I guess if we're lucky and we'll make it through, what, this 10-week period up until November, that would be kind of cool um, without any injuries. And I think that's the same kind of luck that we needed in January. Didn't happen, and we saw what happened there. I kind of don't like to take that risk. I'd rather have all the uh, have all of the, you know, the advantages going, be in our favor as opposed to going against us. So we'll see how that works out. But, I mean, I know we have enough to make it. Um, those players need to play, though, right? Those players need to play. Um, we're coming up to our first midweek game coming up, and I don't feel like we've got a squad, the squad depth to actually keep up with the same kind of style of play that we need. Unless those players get playing time, and I can't see that happening. Fulham, I think a lot of people are thinking we're just going to stick with the same, the same eleven. You know, maybe we'll give some players some extra minutes in that game that probably need it. You know, if if uh, Tommy Yasu is healthy, if uh, Tierney is healthy, Vieira is healthy, uh, and, and Kedia, those are probably what those are four players right there that probably could do with some minutes, some decent minutes, not five, ten minutes here or there, but more minutes, and hopefully. The reason why they get those minutes is because we've, we've managed the game well, we've taken a big lead, and it, it, you know we can pull certain players off, especially like a Jesus. That would be pretty good if he comes out. Sorry, hopefully you guys don't hear that. I've got a phone call coming in, so hopefully that works out. I expect the same eleven. I have. I know I would be okay if Tommy Yasu came in and White got to sit down and, and rest. Because I kind of feel like I'd like to have him ready to go as a, a center back. If we're going to stick with this, you know, two center back with the four at the back. If that's going to be the case, then why not have him be ready to go if we need to rotate our center backs. If holding is going to be a player that's gone, we're going to definitely need White to be rested and that rotation of center backs to be, you know, the three that we know we have right now with Saliba and uh, Gabriel. That's, uh, that's a strong pairing there and have White coming out. We shouldn't see a significant drop. Different style of uh, defense, but significant drop in performance? I hope not. I don't expect it. So we'll see there. Um, you know, like I said, you got Tierney, you've got 
uh, Tommy Asu, and they still have Cedric on the, in the book. So Cedric, I think, can be a decent, a, a decent job in Europa. I don't think, based on our, we'll talk about Europa in a little bit, but I think he'll be able to come in and help us in that, that second squad, the second 11 that we have. That'd be really good to see him come in and get some playing time. You know, I think he can, he can, he can do okay there. Uh, let's see. Still, no. I don't think we have an answer for Partey long term. But if we're talking about being lucky, then we probably don't need it. And uh, Sambi and El Neni will cover us well uh, when we need it. Uh, Jaka, will we have cover for that? Right. Um, with Sambi, they're coming in and playing there. Or El Vieira coming in and you know covering for Erdogan or Emil Sufro as well. So we got cover there at our wings, right? We've got Emil Sufro also. See, and this I, the, you know, being able being versatile is great. But then when we think about it, when you go to needing a second eleven, how do you? You can't be versatile at that point unless you're filling in spots, right? So we need we need some decent cover at our wings. And right now, that's Milsur Fro, and that could be Vieira. Um, we'll see if that happens, because Vieira can also play there. And that's the good thing about having Vieira is that we can move him around, and, and Milsur Fro, to some degree, can also move around. So we kind of got cover on our wings and our, I guess you want to call it our attack at mid. So that would be kind of cool there. So I, I guess, like I said, I can see not much changing there. And Kedia coming in can, should be able to do a job for us as a you know our number two in our in Europa League and Cup games uh, I would like to have a stronger one but for now we're gonna have to go with Nkede he looks like he's driven he's got a lot of uh, want to for me which is good so also we'll take that um, and that's it really uh, Turner is he, he's gonna need games so he'll probably get them and hopefully you know what we saw was just a little bit of maybe either stage fright or just getting, you know, getting the jitters out, the butterflies out for his first time in the Premier League. And hopefully we see we see um, some more confident play from him going forward. So, I mean, if you think about it all in, all in toll, if things, if we're lucky and if the games go the way we hope, we're going to be okay with the squad that we have. We're going to have to be. Um, I'd like to see some more one or two changes coming in, but I just can't see that right. We are, it's Friday, and uh, a week from now we'll be going into going into our second game of the week, and who knows how, where we stand. I would like to, I would like the team to kind of get put in a situation that they have to bring in players, that way they'll just do it, as opposed to, you know, get by and then go, you know, we can just make it through, but with this PPL talk and all of that, we'll see if that actually makes a difference as to how we proceed. Uh, what else is there? Um, so that's it. I mean, like I said, yeah, the Europa League, I saw the, the group that we're in. Uh, looks like we don't have to travel far. Um, I think uh, every, maybe, every, I don't think we have to travel far and I don't think we have any big name teams. PSV seems the biggest name in the group. But I think we, we should be able to have that covered, especially if we you know play a stronger side at home. Other than that, I think Europa League we should be able to handle that one. Probably three or four wins. I guess four wins will do that for us there. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that all adds out. What's our first cup games against Brighton? So yeah, they're going to probably come strong because that's you know they they have less games to play. But you know we are going to have a decent bench right I think we're playing home so if that's the case then I think we should be fine there to get the win and uh, continue to move on we're gonna have to do that we're gonna have to be able to compete in all four fronts that's the only way I think we'll show that we are there so I will be heading out now and I will talk to you guys later like I like to like I, like I say life is a journey don't waste a trip enjoy the ride all right everyone